<laughs> Welcome back to Drift Garage. On the last episode, we... And so today we're going to be... Why we? It's never we. Where's Turk? Dear Forsberg, I decided to get a head start in the garage today. I also made you breakfast on the counter. See you out there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> we just got the Apex e USA. Chris has a really good relationship with these guys. There's a dyno inside. They tune a lot of Chris's personal cars like the Datsun. And we're going to get Drift Idiots car tuned here. It's got a brand new Apex e Power FC in it. Um, they got a nice hub dyno and a really good tuner. All that talk about uh, setting that crank angle sensor from Turk. We're a little suspect that it might be a tooth off, but basically the car will start with it one tooth off. But once you hook up the timing and start setting your base timing, uh, it'll tell you real fast if you're uh, within the window or not. Even though Chris and I did the precautionary thing, throwing a zip tie and a cam gear, one of the cam gears was wrong. It's off by one tooth. It's supposed to be 11 links in between from dot to dot on the timing marks on the gears. So we finally got it solved. The guys are assembling right now, and uh, we should be good to hit the dyno. And um, you know, with, with the urgency of getting here, um, we just and, had to uh, get here before time. Frank left and yeah. then work on it so and he didn't leave. Finished buttoning up a few <laughs> loose ends while he was setting timing. You know, no big deal. So Apex uses uh, dyno packs. They're much better on loading the engine, so you get real good tuning abilities. Some people don't like them because of the numbers that they give, but you know, we're not here for numbers. We're here to make sure this thing makes up for your power all the way through the power band. But of course, we always want to see some numbers. Well, it's running now, so, I mean, if anything happens... It's Frank's fault. It's not our fault. It's out of our hands now. I'm out, dude. Yeah. I am totally out now. I mean, like, you know, we missed a couple things, but <laughs> I'm sure we didn't miss anything else. Right. <laughs> it's got oil, it's got fuel, it's got water, fan yep. kicks on. Yep. Done deal. Keep turning it up till we hit 340. <laughs> Dude, car sounds awesome, man. It's killing it. You know, 310, it sounds like a low number, but I mean, like you said, the way that you build power in these cars, it just ramps up so hard and it's just draining those fuel rails. It's just making all kinds of torque, which is awesome. That's what you want in a drift car. Even though we had some issues getting mm -hmm. dialed in, it's mm -hmm. probably one of the better dyno sessions we've had in uh, Drift Garage. Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> from going from first start to full pulls, full boost, to the point where we're running our fuel pump dry, 
It's uh, not, not a bad day. Not a bad day, yeah. Thanks, Frank. Yeah. Get him in, Frank. Get him in. Bigger pump, bigger power. Yep. We got stage two for the idiot coming up. <laughs>
So, well, I guess I guess we should let him go first. I guess so, dude. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll feel bad if we break it before he gets a chance to, even though yeah. we did put all the damn work in this I, thing. I feel pretty good about it. It should hold together. Yeah. We'll let him break it. <laughs> so. No. He looks confident. <laughs> Don't break it. Yeah. We put a lot of work into it. Don't make us fix it. I'm not gonna. I'm fixing it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> might be up and running but it is not done we have one last piece for this build to make it complete and that is these all new BC Forge RS42 wheels wrapped in Hankook Ventus rubber this is will be the final piece to really bring the whole car together because no build is complete without the perfect set of wheels and tires Guys, for watching another season of Drift Garage. We did it, man. We got it Finally, running. It's all ready God. to go and kicking. <laughs> it didn't blow up. Nope. Uh, we ran into a bunch of roadblocks. Some of parts course. didn't show up on time, et cetera, et cetera. Given. But yeah. it happens. Yeah, but it looks great. Drift it drives ride. great. And that's the whole point, you know? And um, I'm loving the way the Datsun looks. It's killer. It's slammed and just looking like it's ready for the street, man. Want to go cruise it. Absolutely. Let's do it. So let's end this season with you guys telling us what you want to see next season in the comments below. See you next time.